congratulations to a and uh, credit to the guys. They did a great job. Uh, here's what I feel about the game. Number one, the game was atrocious and not the fault of any player that was on the pitch. Really, it was the fault of the pitch. The pitch was horrible. The pitch was trash. It was an insult to Nigerian football. This is 2021. I will feel that we've done better. We've moved on from that. But um, apart from that, I just feel like the pitch was really the reason that um, – that Rivers United are out of the competition because they were probably expecting to play North African teams on that pitch, teams like Al Hali, uh, teams like Esperance, the, you know, teams who are used to playing on all these perfect pitches and you bring them to a pitch like that and they don't know what's happening. But the whole plan was flipped on his head when uh, Aimba fell to the CAF Confederations Cup qualifiers and CAF decided to pin two teams from the same country against each other. Number one, I haven't seen it done in any other competition, but CAF just felt like it was right to do it this time. And it is what it is, you know, you take it like it is. You can't ch change the rules, even though I don't, I've don't. i never seen that done. You know, I think there were two or three other countries that had uh, teams from the same country in the competition, and they didn't do anything like that. So it's kind of mind-boggling why they would make Rivers United and end by play each other. But it is what it is. They played each other. One team had to go home, and honestly, it should never have been Rivers United because now it seems like Rivers United has completely failed because you went out at the beginning of the season, bought all these players. You bought um, Ifani Anemana. You bought Teofilis Safalakai, who made a good save yesterday in the penalty shootouts. You bought Godwin Agoda from Enugu Rangers. You also bought uh, Bobby Clement, who was not used yesterday. Um, you had all these players, and to whom much is given, much is expected, and you're out of the... Um, you're out of the Confederations Cup at the uh, qualifying round. And not only that, you are put out by a Nigerian team. And not only that, you are put out by a Nigerian team who you rated for all their players. So, yeah, um, heads might be rolling in Portaco and River State. But, yeah, it is what it is. Another thing you got we got to discuss is that red card that was... Uh, that everybody was hoping was gonna be shown. First of all, I want I want every Nigerian fan, every NPFL fan to get away from that kind of thinking. We can't be thinking like that. What happened in the last game is the last game. It was a completely different ref. Uh, the refs are even from completely different countries. So you can't expect that one decision is gonna be made and it's gonna just go aligned with the exact same decision that was made last week. Now, um, let's get into the, the shout. For my mind, it was never going to be a red card. It should have never been. In fact, the yellow card, I don't even know. Because number one, the guy kicked him hard. And number two, the guy fell without being even hit. He just walked up on the guy. He did not punch him. He did not put his hands on him. Both hands spread out. He runs into the guy. The guy falls down and makes a meal of it. And what should the referee do? I believe that. Maybe he did the right thing because that way both teams can calm down and football can be played. But me personally, I feel the first tackle was a red card. And I feel just like last week, this player should have went down and rolled on the ground. What is wrong with these guys? You get the opportunity of a lifetime given to you and you out here trying to show yourself. What did you prove now? You got a yellow card. The other guy got a yellow card. But if you roll around, your teammates come around shouting, blah, blah, blah. Who knows? You can change the referee's mind. You can make the referee give out a red card in that situation. But you decided the other route, which was standing up and standing up for yourself, which is right when you're on the streets, not in a football game. Uh, and that's what happened. Both, both of them get yellow cards. I believe the referee made a correct decision. This video is brought to you by JNJTropicalStore.com, where you can get your African food, fabric, and health and body products.